Here's the new building for the University of Iowa School of Music. The history of this project uh, goes back to 2008 when the existing facilities were basically destroyed by a flood. In the process of examining alternative sites, this site at the intersection of Clinton and Burlington was selected. This site is a really terrific position that's right on the edge of campus. It's right on the edge of the downtown commercial area of Iowa City. And it becomes this kind of intersection point where community members, many types of activities uh, in the commercial core, as well as the campus, all have an opportunity to interact with the life of the school. The basic idea of the design from the exterior is to have this transparent corner at the corner of Clinton and Burlington to invite the city and the scale of the city into the building and to uh, so that you can see the activity within the building and likewise from the building you can see the activity of the city. Here you can see a section of the building cut through the concert hall and you can see the unique geometry of that concert hall and you can also see the atrium space adjoining it. As you move your way through these various public spaces is in the building. There are different places we're bringing daylight in from different perspectives so that over the course of the day this, this space is always illuminated with daylight uh, and it's a series of interesting intersecting uh, open spaces that work their way up vertically all the way to the top of the building. There are a number of different types of practice rooms very carefully designed with very specific acoustical requirements and the other thing they all have, which is fairly unique for a music building, is daylight. The strategy here and the sort of philosophy here is that these spaces are open and available and connected to the, to the outside world. Throughout the project, we've been intensively modeling the building. Uh, these models are then used uh, in acoustic analysis and help us refine the design. The 700 seat concert hall is a particularly unique room. Uh, it's of the shoebox design. It's a rectangular space. We've included a new system, which we're calling a theatroacoustic system. This is a ceiling system, uh, which is shaped to provide specific sound reflections back to the audience and back to the musician and take advantage of the large volume of the space. The acoustic reflector, in addition to performing well acoustically, needs to serve a number of other purposes. There's audiovisual speakers that are incorporated into it, there are lighting systems, uh, performance lighting, uh, and other systems, fire sprinklers uh, and rigging points and such, that all needed to be uh, incorporated in. And that is partly why you see different sized openings in different areas. This is a one-third scale mock-up that we built of the Theatro acoustic system. Uh, and we did this to test the, uh, the methods and the materials that uh, we're interested in using to make the system. Uh, it's designed and built with uh, a parametric model uh, and a CNC machine. Uh, we have a 4x8 CNC router which we use to cut these parts. Uh, and the aluminum composite panel uh, is simply scored along the back side, it's cut out, and then we can fold the tabs by hand. Our goal here is to create a first-class music facility for the university, but also to create a building that works well for the city and for the university and engages the community in a really meaningful way.